on YouTube? This is Walter of True Gains Fitness. I'm here with my first ever questionnaire here today. I'm very excited because I do have a couple of individuals that emailed me some questions on fitness related tips. So I'm here to answer them in the best way I know how and help these uh, individuals. So let's get right to it. First individual is Ruben from Texas. He emailed me, Walter, what do you do post-workout? Well, Ruben, I'll let you know post-workout, what I do is immediately after I come home, I take my creatine, and then I take my whey protein. Um, people, some people like to mix it, so they mix their creatine with the whey protein. I like to take it individually, so what I'll do is I'll take my creatine separate from my, from my whey protein. Also, what you wanna do is I try to immediately eat after I take my whey protein. Sometimes that doesn't happen because I'm full from the whey protein, so I'll try to wait at least 30 to 45 minutes and then I'll consume my meal. Uh, the most important meal of the day actually may be when you do consume your meal post-workout because the muscles, they store excess energy known in the form of glycogen and protein, and when you work out, you're just gonna burn up all that fuel. So you need to restore those muscles with energy by consuming your meal immediately after post-workout. So some people also think that you're in an anabolic state and you need to take or consume your whey protein within 30 minutes after your workout. This is not true. Um, it's actually 24 to 36 hours you can consume it, but you know, we're not gonna wait that long. But immediately afterwards, um, I would just recommend you do consistent feeding, and as long as you're getting your essential amino acids and your proteins, you should be good, man. Um, it's actually hard to recommend the amount, of the amount of protein you should be taking in because it depends on the person's body size and also their fitness goals. But great question. All right, guys, second question we have is from Johnny from Texas as well. He wants to know, do I have any tips for beginners in the gym? So yes, Johnny, I do have some tips for beginners in the gym. You just want to start off slow, man. You want to get used to, your body has to first adapt. Your nervous system has to adapt and your body has to adapt. So when you get into the gym, uh, first when I started out, I had no clue what I was doing at all. I just went into the gym um, unprepared, didn't know anything. I knew a couple exercises, but I didn't know what to do as far as an actual workout regimen. Now I do a couple chest flies, I do a couple bicep curls, just the standard variations of just exercise, right? And until I did research, the main thing is that you wanna be as knowledgeable as possible on these exercises, um, what the exercises do, what exercises work for different isolated functions of what body part, um, hypertrophy, strength, what, what are some good strength exercises, some good core exercises depending on your fitness goals. Um, but when you're first starting out, if you just wanna get lean and build muscle, I'd recommend that you get very knowledgeable with different exercises. You just don't wanna go in there and just unprepare. You know what I mean? You don't wanna go in there and just curl different weights and do anything, that's not gonna do anything for you. You need to go in there, you wouldn't go to a grocery store um, without a list, would you? So you never wanna go unprepared into the gym. You always wanna have a plan set and you always wanna have a regimen going. Pretty much, I, didn't, I did not know what I was doing when I, first, when I first started. Like I said, I did a couple exercises here and there, and it's not until I started watching a couple YouTube fitness channels and doing my own thing that I actually started getting addicted to it. Like I said, I knew what exercises to get there, but I did not know, you know any kind of plans or regimens that I should be doing until I first got a whole lot of knowledge on what I was supposed to be doing. So I definitely get your knowledge up, and once you get your knowledge up, you need to apply and execute it. Start off slow, start off light. If you need uh, any kind of tips while you're in the gym, go ahead and ask the staff. Uh, ask some personal trainers at your local gym, man, um, anything. So anything will help, just get that knowledge in there. So also, what you don't wanna do is if you see one guy lifting more weight than you do, even though you can't do it, there's always gonna be those ego lifters in the gym. When you're in there and you're in the mirror and you're trying to, you're trying to do your shit, man, there's always gonna be some ego lifters. Do not try to copy what they do. Don't try to do the same weight they do. That is not what that's there for. You wanna build up to your slow pace, your tempo, and get it right, okay? Them motherfuckers are always gonna be in their ego lifting. Let them ego lift. They're slanging around heavy weight. That ain't gonna do nothing for them but raise their ego. If you're doing it right, you need to be doing it with correct posture, correct form, and you'll have the, of course, it's gonna be a little bit of a slow progress, but man, you need discipline. You need discipline. So you need to start off slow. Don't try to worry about what the next motherfucker's doing in the gym. You need to focus on you and your fitness goals. You need to make sure you're going slow, doing it steady, with proper form, and do the exercises correct, man. Because it's gonna help you out in the long run. You never wanna start off anything too heavy, go in there ego lifting just because the next motherfucker is doing it. Worried about the next girl, if she's watching you. You're not with, you're not in competition with them. 
You're in competition with yourself and you need to be doing what you can do first starting out, okay? That's what you need to be doing. So this doesn't take, this lifestyle that we call fitness, you need to take it seriously, okay? So you don't need motivation. People talk about passion, motivation. This requires discipline, okay? This thing that we call fitness requires discipline. Day in and day out, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. And I love helping people get to where they want to be in their fitness goals, whether it's weight loss or whether they want to get stronger, leaner, build muscle. It doesn't matter. I love fitness, period. Hell, I'd sleep at the gym all day if I could. But I'm here to help people get to their fitness goals, and that's what I'm here to help you to do. So tips for beginning to start working out, knowledgeable as possible, and you need to go into the gym. If you have any questions on any kind of exercises or how to do proper form, um, you know where I'm at, True Gains Fitness. You're also subscribed to my YouTube channel is why you uh, email me this question, so I appreciate that as well. Also, ask your um, ask the local personal trainer at your local gym, man. They may be able to help you. Uh, they may, may be able to help you out. So get that going, be knowledgeable. You always wanna go in there with a plan a, uh, a plan of attack. You always wanna execute it. So um, one of the workout regimens, I'll just give you an example. Like if you have an arm and shoulder day, you never just wanna go in there and do, uh, you know, okay, I'll do the curls and then what I'm gonna do next. No, you always wanna have a plan of attack. So if you start off with five sets of three for strength on preacher curls, you need to be okay. First, I'm gonna do five sets of three on preacher curls. Then I'll do uh, five sets of 15 on tricep extensions, and then I'll move over to shoulders. I'll do some ulnar presses. I'll do some ulnar presses for about five sets of five for strength. Or if you need to mix it up, whatever to your liking, if you want to add some core, whatever your goals are, always go in there with the plan of attack. Like I said, you never want to go grocery shopping without a list. All right, guys, the third question comes from Ruben again from Texas. He wants to know what are some good exercises for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? All right, looks like you're in Brazilian, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Ruben, which is badass. I'm not too keen on BJJ, but what I do know is probably that they do focus primarily on cardiovascular training and a lot of muscular endurance training. So I'm not too keen on BJJ, but I have some strength and power exercises that you can incorporate into your workout regimen if you want to use it. So what I would definitely recommend is what you try to do is some deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, some windshield wipers, uh, pull-up burpees, some uh, low-seated cable rows for, for back. Also, I know you guys probably bridge a lot, so you can try to do some bridging exercises, some hip abductor exercises for your hips. I know you guys like to do a lot of triangle chokes. That's one of your uh, maybe primary moves. So I would definitely recommend that you probably could do five sets of five for leg presses or either uh, leg curls for four sets of 15. Also, you could do some single, um, single leg deadlifts or some goblet squats as well. Now, I know you guys probably focus on cardiovascular training more than anything, so the exercises that I just named, if you want, instead of using them in, in as part of strength or either hypertrophy for four sets of 15 or so, you could use it in a circuit training exercise. That way you can get your cardiovascular training in and also some power uh, and strength exercises uh, for you as well. Hope that helped with your, um, with your question and I hope you have more success on the map. All right guys, the last question comes from Brent. He wants to know, he wants to know what is your number one motivation? That's a great question, Brent. My number one motivation is myself because every day I get up, I look in the mirror, I'm not looking at anybody else but myself. You know, I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. I'm pretty sure everybody out there uh, is trying to do the same. I'm not in competition with anybody. I'm not in competition with anybody else but myself. I'm not trying to better any, anybody else unless I'm getting them ready for, uh, if they have any kind of fitness goals or if I'm training them or anything. But as far as me, just focusing on me becoming a better person of myself, my motivation is myself. So, you know, I have a lot of discipline. I have a lot of willpower. This thing that we call fitness or life in general, it takes discipline. You don't need motivation, like I said before. Um, some people call it passion, motivation, whatever the case is. You need discipline. You really need discipline. You need to be hard on yourself. You need to stick to it. You need to, no matter what it is, fitness related, life related in general, you need to pick a goal and you need to fucking stick with it. Um, a lot of people, they quit too soon or they quit before realizing their dream. My motivation is primarily focused on myself. Every day I wake up, I try to become a better person of myself. I love the gym. This is what I was meant to do, is train people. I love being a personal trainer. I love training people and I love becoming a better version of myself. 
I try to hit PRs. Every day I walk into the gym, of course, you're not gonna hit a PR. But I do try to get stronger than what I was yesterday, whether it's getting one or two more reps on exercise or just busting through a plateau that I've never did before. Um, so that's primarily my motivation. I hope out there that I do inspire some people, like I said. Uh, one of the reasons that inspired me to create this channel, of course, is other people that inspire me as well because I do get a lot of questions still. They come up to me in the gym and ask me, you know, what, what do I do for this? Or what exercise do I do for this? Of course, like I said before, I can't actually write them an exercise regimen, but I do get, give them little tips here and there if they wanna know different exercises or different isolated functions for a movement, I'll go ahead and give it to them because I love helping people out, you know. Uh, but as far as my motivation, man, I can't motivate anybody self but my own. You know, you can't get mad with the results you have for the work you didn't put in. I know somebody else probably said that, but that's definitely true. That's damn well true, and I do believe it. So you cannot get mad, but anybody at yourself for the results you got for the work that you did not contribute. So, it just, it just depends, man. If, do you, how bad do you want it? That's the number one question that I always ask myself in the gym and life. I'm motivated as fuck. I wanna be an entrepreneur. I wanna do big things. I wanna help people. And I'm gonna continue to grow. I'm gonna continue to be a stronger version of myself each and every day, no matter what. No matter what gets put in front of me, I always conquer it. I always find a way to conquer it because I have the fucking drive, I have the determination, and I have the fucking willpower, and I have the fucking discipline. With those four things, you know, you can fucking be unstoppable. That's all you need is the willpower, the, the discipline, the determination, and, and the passion. The passion is there. So depending on what it is that you want to do, I want you to continue to follow it. But as far as for me, my motivation is myself. So I love fitness. I love everything about fitness. I'm, always, I'm still learning. Even though I'm a personal trainer, I'm still learning every day. I'm learning different exercises, different techniques. Uh, what is this for? You know, you never can stop learning. You never can have... Too much knowledge. That's uh, one excellent power in this world is knowledge. So I'm learning every day. I'm gonna continue to learn, gonna continue to grow stronger. I'm gonna continue to help other people with their fitness goals, no matter whether it's uh, no matter whether it's weight loss, uh, getting lean, strength, whatever you want, come to me and I'll have what you need. With that, this has been a pretty good, pretty good first Q&A, even though it wasn't too many questions. I didn't want to hold you guys too long, but I did want to answer those individuals that did have those questions for me. I'll probably be doing another Q&A um, in about maybe the next week or so. I'll probably be doing another Q&A, and I'll probably be joined by one of the True Game Fitness uh, athletes, either maybe Royce or Jacob, or either one of, the, one of the clients that I'm training on the show. I might do a little podcast, so it just depends. I have a lot of great content coming. Thank you guys for subscribing. Whoever subscribed, you know who you are. I have a lot more great content coming in the future for you guys. I got a lot more workout tips and videos gonna be posted. Um, I got a lot more entertainment coming for you guys. Work with me. Um, starting to get a little bit more busier and that's a great thing because I love helping my clients. I love helping people grow. So you guys just bear with me. I'm actually uh, starting to design a little bit more t-shirt designs. Those are gonna be up in the online store whenever I get my website going. So I'll let you guys definitely know when that's going, when that's gonna be up, all right? Um, the next questionnaire is probably gonna be in the next week or so, like I said. If you have any questions that didn't get answered today or that maybe you wanna send in your question, comment down below and I'll definitely try to pick out the questions or most of the questions anyway that I'll be able to answer for you guys. If not, you can always email me your questions at IamWalterHeron at gmail.com or either if you follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting clips anyhow. So follow me on Instagram at TrueGamesOfficial and you can also, also send you your questions my way on there or Twitter at TrueGamesFit. And I'll have all those links to my social media platforms posted below. This has been an awesome questionnaire. Let's flex on them one time. Here, man, get a close up on that bicep. Yeah. There we go. I'm out.